in order to strategically engage in policy and regulatory processes and to effectively analyze system results, it is important to understand who is involved, at what stage, and what their profiles are in relation to you. If you are able to identify whose behavior needs to change and how, then you will be better prepared to engage with them. If you understand them, who they are, what motivates them, and what the objectives are, you will be better prepared to develop targeted messages and choose the most effective way of communicating it. In terms of categorizing the actors involved, one could consider one. Where do they stand in relation to you? Are they within your sphere of influence, control, or concern? Two, who are they and what relationship do you have? Are they allies or adversaries? Three, are they influential and important, of interest, and or knowledgeable? Let's use this framework to help us map out the different actors involved in dative intensive systems in a couple of the areas we discussed earlier. You can find it in the resources section of this lesson. This is how you could assess the actors involved. In your sphere of control, you would have those with whom you have some leverage to influence their behavior, such as consumer groups, other civil society organizations, and the media. Each of these is an ally who has high interest in your work and could support your efforts, but may have varying degrees of influence, importance, and knowledge. In your sphere of influence, you would have regulators, such as the Data Protection Authority, if one already exists. They too would constitute an ally and would have a high level of interest, importance, and knowledge of the issues you work on. However, in your sphere of concern, where you have little opportunity to control their behavior, you may have certain adversaries who may have contradictory agendas and interests. This could be industry, but also data brokers. They too would have a high level of interest and knowledge and will be influential as a result of their lobbying. Let's look at another example. Data intensive systems as pushed by governments are often part of a broader digital agenda strategy. The allies within your sphere of control could be the media and specialized CSOs. These actors would have an interest in your work, but they may have limited knowledge about data protection and privacy. The potential allies which reside within your sphere of influence may be important and knowledgeable, but they may not understand human rights issues. In your sphere of concern, you may also have industry. The ministry responsible for these data-intensive systems may constitute both an ally and adversary, depending on their political agenda. But unless you have prior relationships with them, they will be within your sphere of concern and there may be limited opportunity to engage with them directly. Your allies are essential as part of your engagement strategy to elevate your message to those with the power to make decisions.